Seth, it is turning out to be a challenging investigation. We are live here right where the road rage incident happened. I'm actually going to step out of frame here so our photojournalist Andrea Vasquez can zoom into the skid marks. You can see that we're left behind here from this road rage incident that again has now turned deadly. And Andrea, why don't you go ahead and follow me so we can give him a look here at where we're standing at right now. It's somewhat of a small business complex, five and all, but I have gone to every single business here, talked to the owner or the manager, ask them to show me that surveillance footage and I have been able to see it. The problem though, none of the cameras pointing to this area in the parking lot, making this a challenge for police. We also want to give you a look at your screen because you should be seeing the victim here for the very first time. He again was identified as 39 year old Jose Guzman. He tragically died over the weekend. Now here's what police are telling us today. Here's what's new at six. These guys or these drivers, I should say, were on loop 375 northbound when they engaged in some road rage they got off the freeway onto Bob Hope before they made it over here to this parking lot. Now, Guzman was the driver of one of those cars, and when he got out of his car to approach the suspect's vehicle, that is when the suspect allegedly accelerated and ran Guzman over with his car, leaving him here on the scene. Now, police, again, do need your help figuring out who that driver is, who that suspect is. All they've told us so far is he was seen driving a mid-sized sedan that's either red or maroon in color. We're also putting a number here on your screen should you have any information to speak with detectives. Again, they're asking for your help in solving this deadly case of road rage. Live in Far East El Paso, JC Navarrete, ABC7. And again, that number, 915-212-4040. So if you weren't able to look at your screen, again, 915-212-4040.